at the Esther Simplot Performing Arts Academy. Sorry, I want to do one thing. When the members of Ballet Idaho center, can you move in a little closer? are moving through their last moments of rehearsal. And do the curtsy in here. Peter and Anastos. And then the same thing, when they turn to your side, you want to move, I just want to get you not to be so far away. Is the company's artistic director. Has been for the last 10 years. Making this his 10th time as the choreographer in charge in the production of The Nutcracker. You'd think by now the show might stage itself, but Peter still tinkers. Everybody stages it a little differently. There's sort of a big arc of a plot, but everybody stages it differently. Right, that's good, great, good, good. Oh, those kids. Meanwhile, downstairs, the color of the show is still coming together when it comes to costumes. Okay. Costume director Carrie Fitch is putting the finishing touches on one of the marzipan dresses. Let's see if she's gonna fit. Nearby, her assistant, Nicole Gould, knows the work they do these last hours oh, yeah. is huge. Especially since I'm currently trying to mess with the nutcracker right now. <laughs> Namesake or not, oh my gosh. it's just one of the 200 outfits covering 17 racks. <laughs> Carrie and her staff have had to conform each costume to the current cast, including masks, headpieces, and hats. Um, shoes, accessories. I'm probably happier not doing an actual physical count. I think I'm probably at around 500 pieces right now. Back upstairs, dozens of parent volunteers are preparing the programs. All those boxes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure on the total. We're not allowed to leave until they're done, is what I was told. $20,000 worth, whatever that works yeah. out to me. Yeah. They will stuff about 6,000 packets to be handed out at all five shows. Emily, he needs to ride it between his legs. Yeah. This will be the last run through in the small space of the Simplot Performing Arts Academy. We've outgrown this room, really totally outgrown it. And five, and Which is why... Seven, where are you at? And eight, are you going, are you eight quarter? The next day... I feel like that's the only reason... ...will be the first day of run-throughs inside the Morrison Center for the Performing Arts. So can you make it all the way to quarter? Yeah. 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 Make it to quarter. The home where this holiday have to see has been showcased for the last decade. A stretch that could be credited to Peter starting from scratch. There was nobody here. You know, that's what that was sort of the appeal for me was that, you know, A.J. Belukov was our board chair then. And he said, well, Peter, we don't have any scenery, any costumes or any dancers. How would you like a job? <laughs> Since then, production has grown to include two dozen professional dancers and more than a hundred Academy kids. Those first few years, Peter used to watch from the wings. But after a while, you get sick of seeing the ballet from sideways. <laughs> it's nice to see it from the front. And also from the front, it's, it, you can better tell how it's going. Now, seeing the show while sitting in the house doesn't mean Peter can completely relax and just enjoy well, it's it. Great. I mean, it's thrilling. It's really nice. It, it's very, very nice. It's a good, warm feeling. But I don't know. I, I don't know if other people think this way. I still white knuckle every performance because you so many things can go wrong, especially with Nutcracker, which is complicated. You know, a big show like this, there's lots of moving parts and big, heavy moving parts. All these rails, all these ropes, they're all responsible for um, for pulling for pulling the wings up and pulling the furniture out and there's somebody in the bed right now that's making it do that. I don't know if I should say that though. That's the magic. You're not supposed to know that. <laughs> Adrian Kerr is one of the Nutcracker's original cast members. A principal dancer who's played the Snow Queen for the last six years. She knows what happens off stage makes her and the other dancers parts on stage 
seems seamless. Do you want to light all the legs and borders the way the upstage ones are lit? That really hot, nice, great blue. Yeah, now I'm kind of working from upstage to outstage. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you 201 at full? Unlike the lights on stage, Peter Anastos's career with Ballet Idaho is fading. He's retiring next year at the age of 70, making this his last production of The Nutcracker. It's just the right time to turn it over. It's better to leave early. It's better to leave when you're on top. He says he's ready to turn over artistic director to somebody younger and with more energy. So that last show on Sunday will be a bit bittersweet for Peter. You know, at that point, we've done a lot of these shows. It's complicated. And when the last Sunday show comes around, I don't think anyone's all that sad, frankly. (laughs) But many will be grateful for the time and energy Peter put in helping make this show a lasting, timeless tradition for ballet lovers in Boise.